Hi, my name is Hermina and I'm a co-owner of um, Monomino Wedding Photography. And as you might see, I'm pretty uh, pregnant at the moment, but I would still like to tell you something about the process in which we choose which album company to use for our clients. And um, we take into account about seven different things. So the first of the seven things we take into account when we choose one is what's the price point. Some albums, uh, album companies are really expensive, some are really cheap. Um, when you choose an album company, you also have to take into account that you don't only buy the album, you also have to uh, pay for the shipment and for the VAT. And sometimes you have to pay for customs. So an album can add up to quite a few uh, hundred, hundreds of euros or pounds or dollars or whatever. The second thing that's really important to us is um, do they offer discounts for the sample albums you want to use? Because when you go to a fair or an expo where you can see the albums, um, it's slightly different than when you see an album with your own photos in it. So before we start uh, offering an album company to our clients, we always order an album to see whether it's great from start to finish. Some album companies offer, for example, 25% uh, off, some even 50%, and sometimes uh, album companies even offer you a free sample of their album. So this might um, affect your choice for the album company you want to use. So the third thing we're really picky about actually is uh, the type of covers an album company offers. For example, um, do they offer leather, do they offer linens and or do they offer Japanese book cloth or even silk, um, which might be the same actually, I'm not really sure. But uh, then again, um, when you go for leather, um, not every kind of leather is exactly the same. Some types of leather are more coarse, some are really fine grained. And uh, if you choose something, please um, well, feel it or smell it. Does it really smell like leather or is it a faux type of leather which is made from different tiny pieces of leather all stick together, which isn't real leather in my opinion. Um, and uh, is it possible to emboss the album? Some companies offer this option, some do not. Um, can you uh, go for laser engraving? Um, can you go for a photo cover? For example, when you have an album like this one, you can see that there are two types of letters. This one's made by Fineo, by the way. And there's a little photo on the cover. Um, we do know quite a few uh, companies who do not offer the option to have a photo cover. So if you feel that's really important to you, then you should choose either way. Another thing to take into account is the way the letter is um, folded around the corners of the album. So if you open an album and you see the corners, um, look at the way the um, letter is cut and folded. This differs uh, with every album company and um, you might have to pay extra with some companies but oftentimes we see they are better finished in a way. So the fourth thing that's really important to us is what types of paper does the album company offer. Uh, we ourselves offer two types of albums. Albums with photo paper which is a bit glossy and when you um, um, make a mark, for example, with a fatty finger or anything, you can uh, brush it off. And on the other hand, we have uh, fine art types of paper, which are really matte and totally different from the photo paper we normally use. Uh, most of the times, these album companies are a bit more expensive because um, their papers are more expensive. But we really like the fact that these two are so different from each other. So besides which paper to use, you could also look at the fold in the center of uh, a spread. Um, what we really are looking for is that the ink doesn't break in the fold. Because sometimes you can see with album companies that, uh, for example, in black and white prints, you see a slight pinkish line. And uh, we just think it's not that pretty, so we don't really like that. 
So the fifth thing that's important is uh, do you like the colors of the prints? Uh, with many um, album companies you can order test prints to see whether you like the contrast, the colors, the amount of black in the images and um, you can judge the way they print your work. The sixth thing that's really important to us is the delivery time. How long does it take the album company to print, bind and send you the album? Uh, most of the times it can be between two to three weeks, uh, but some album companies can take up uh, four to five weeks. And if you order an album from way, way abroad, then it can add up to six, seven weeks even. Um, we have used some album companies in America and um, we also had to take into account that some albums had to go through customs which could take up to well seven to 14 days extra we think um, so if delivery time is really important to you then uh, think about this before you uh, start using an album company and the last thing i want to mention is how is the customer service um, album companies consist of people just like our company does and um, it's inevitable that sometimes mistakes will happen either because we made a mistake or the album company made a mistake and uh, it all depends on how will they handle your complaint will they say oh this is all your own fault and if you want a new album then order one and pay for it or are they willing to look with you um, for a good way to solve the problem um, for example we had an al album company um, where one of the albums was really off with color uh, all the um, greens looked quite orangey and in the end they said it was our fault and if we wanted a new album we had to pay for it ourselves and um, in the end we decided to go for another company so we currently use three different uh, types of companies. The first is Company, which is based in Greece. And they offer, um, well, very nice albums, of course, with um, the photo paper we mentioned earlier. And we uh, have two companies that offer um, the finer types of paper. The first is Folio Albums, which is this one. Um, Folio is based in the UK. Oh, they are quite expensive, but we really love their albums. And uh, we have a Dutch-based um, <laughs> Dutch Ink album company. They have very large albums as well, which is nice for clients who want big albums. Um, and they offer a very nice alternative to Folio albums. So thank you for watching this blog. Uh, I really hope you learned something and you enjoyed watching it. And if you like it, please uh, subscribe or uh, give a comment. If you have any questions, please let us know and uh, have a good day. Bye bye.